Good morning everyone, it's Yvonne here to do What's Cracking Reading. Um, it's been a bit erratic the last few days, so I'm sorry it sort of seems I'm in and out at, <laughs> in some kind of way. Just to give you an update, I will be around next week um, and I will be around for personal readings next week. And then from the 7th to the 22nd, I'm away on holidays. So there'll be nothing during that time. Um, somebody said to me, how are we, we going to get by without you? You know what? Really good idea. When you're not getting the readings you want to hear, go back and look at old readings. Because for many of us, tarot readings can take, you know, a matter of months or even years before they sort of eventuate. And if you're looking for something, you go looking for something in particular, like pick a card readings, um, there is no date needed at all. But even if you went back to my readings from last year or the year before, same. You know, if you're looking for a reading and the title resonates, then it is something you're going to be listening to. The time that is dated on the video is absolutely not relevant at all. Um, we do it because we are letting you know that's when we've done the reading. But actually, you know, any of those things for one person may come true next week. Somebody else further down the track. Somebody may have already been through it. So, yeah. So if you're missing a reader or you're not getting the readings you want and you feel a little bit like things aren't resonating, go back and watch some older readings. It really will help. Um, so yes, so I'm available for readings at my website www.theaussiegoddess.com if you'd like a reading with me. Um, you can choose what sort of reading and the timing and everything. Uh, as I said, I'll be here all next week. So from the, I think it's the 2nd through to maybe the 7th, something like that, I'll be around. All right, uh, let's get into your reading. King of Wands jumping out at me here. Maybe you've got a Leo, Sag or Aries that's about to make an entrance here. Right. I'm going to use the Albano right away tarot for your reading here. Well, that is really interesting because I've got the deck upside down. But we'll have a look at the Three of Swords. Because it's come out, and it did come out in reverse, the Three of Swords is a card that talks about heartbreak. Now, it's not always something that's just happened. Obviously, it may be predicting some sort of hurt and pain in the future. But when it's upside down, generally it's talking about something you've already been through. It's something that's passed because the swords are releasing when the heart is in reverse. The swords can't stay in there. So it's sort of, to me, this it, whether it's upside down or reversed, the feeling I'm getting here is that energy of something is being released. You are letting go of some sort of pain and heartbreak of the past. Maybe you've decided that you are um, going to let go of this for the new year. Maybe you have some sort of New Year's resolution um, to just let go of something from the past here. The Hermit card tells me you've been through a period of healing. You may be about to go through this now. If you're looking at how to deal with that Three of Swords energy, although it's in reverse, there would be an energy of you going through some sort of healing. But again, this sort of has this New Year's resolution all over it. You know, and this is this is me restarting. I'm going to go, I'm going to do the healing I need to do. I'm going to get through the next few weeks and really let go of those things that no longer serve me. The Justice card, beautiful. So, you know, it's always with the Justice card, it always feels like everything is right in the world. You know, the universe is putting things right here. Sometimes it's getting justice for things like courtroom justice, you know, having a court case going in your favour. But it, this particular person is holding the scales and the sword of truth. So when the justice card comes forward, it says something is about to be revealed here, which will bring those scales back into balance. So whatever it is for you, I feel like you're either waiting patiently and using this time to heal yourself. Um, or making some sort of plan for the future. And maybe that healing yourself and bringing yourself back into balance there. Maybe all you need to bring this back into balance. We have the Empress. What can I say? So I feel like because that King of Wands jumped out at me in the beginning, I'm feeling very strongly there may be somebody who is in your life or is significant to you here that you have had to heal from 
But I want to say there is for some of you here, you're actually healing with this person. And there is a closing out of a cycle here. Now, the Empress is here to say that you are ready to birth something new. And maybe with that ace, with that three of swords, it may be that you have been through something and you are ready to birth something new. And maybe that is with that king of wands. Whatever it is here, you are definitely doing what you need to be doing. You're shining. You're going into the new year feeling really positive, ready to bring through, you know, new things through with you. <laughs> and it's really funny because I put the star seed oracle down and the first card that's here says water your garden. And to me, that is, you know, nourishment, body care, tenderness and rest, which is quite interesting because I just put the deck down when I opened it up. So I feel this is really, you know, something perhaps you're focusing on for the new year is really sort of getting yourself back to where you need to be. I feel like you're letting go of a lot of heartache and pain. You're probably learning to trust again with that three of swords in reverse. Whatever it is, you've got the closing out of a cycle and you've got the justice card there. So I want to say what Spirit is saying here is all is well in your world. All right, let's see where we're going. So when the Eight of Swords comes through, the Eight of Swords can be, you know, like a, a stuck in some sort of victim mentality. Because this obviously, um, you know, if nobody's seen this card before, if I show it to them, and the first thing they say to me is that woman's trapped. And I say, but is she? And they'll say, well, actually, no, there's, a, there's, you know, a gap in the swords. And I say, OK, why do you think she's trapped? Her bound, her, you know, what she's bound with here is loose. She could shake that off in an instant. If she removes the mask, she will see the truth of what really is. That's why it sort of comes up a lot when people are stuck in their head, overthinking things or stuck in this victim mentality. And I feel like here, this is the energy of the three of swords that you're coming out of. This is the energy you're leaving behind. Some sort of energy of the past affecting your future. It's like you have something within you that is affecting your forward movement. It's funny because sometimes I'm really drawn to certain things in cards and colours and the green in this is showing out a lot today. There is very little green in this card, but the, card, the, the jewels on the sword almost look like traffic lights, like it's ready to go. And the green talks about grounding, holding your space. So I feel like here there is a real need for you to get back to Tin Tax, to let go of what's been holding you back and just get grounded and really sort of walk towards the future with a renewed sense of self. All right, the Page of Cups is coming through here. <laughs> The Page of Cups, from which the card of Pisces, I always remember that because of the fish in the cup. Um, and we very much joked about this when I first got on um, doing readings, you know, like, is that it? You know, are you offering me a fish in a cup? Um, again, you know, the symbology on the card sort of talks about much deeper things than the card actually really looks like it's doing. This is some sort of communication coming through here. And when it's a page of cups, sometimes that can be an offer of, you know, a wedding invitation. It can be an engagement, an announcement for a baby, that type of thing. But what comes through most with the page of cups is an offer of love. And I feel like somehow or another, somebody is offering you love here, but you may still be doing your healing from the past. So you may still be working through some of the things that are needing to be put behind you here. And there's a real strong feeling here that the universe is saying to you, just keep going, just keep at it, because you're doing an extremely good job. Whatever you're healing from here is bringing in these brand new opportunities. So don't sort of think that because you can't see it, that it's not happening. This person is offering you that regardless of where you are. So it's sort of, to me, the energy of it's coming anyway, regardless of what you do here. All right, and for some of you, this is an offer of commitment for sure. So are you worried that somebody you're with is not offering you the commitment you want? Are you worried that you are not, you will not have the commitment with the person that you want to have the commitment with? Because what is holding you back here is your fears. There is nothing else holding you back because it's still happening. <laughs> 
So it's like only your fears are holding you in place. So there's a decision to be made. There's a decision to be made. And the universe is saying to you with that two of swords that you need to make this decision from a place of stability and from a logical place, not from your heart space because your heart space is protected. And we have the star. So what I want to say to you, for some of you, you are worried maybe of not getting to where you need to be with someone. For others of you, I feel like this is that energy of, you know, I still haven't found what I'm looking for. You too. Um, I feel like here you're being reassured by the universe that you're putting in the work you need to. You're releasing your past pain. You're letting go of some sort of some sort of traps that have held you in place. So whether this is someone new coming in, which we will probably come across, or if it's somebody here that you already have in your life, you are following your path here with the star. So everything is unwinding or unraveling just as it should be. And look at this. It is all happening the way it should. But there is healing to be done on this journey. And maybe for some of you, you are healing with this person. But the Two of Cups tells me there's a very strong soulmate connection here. And there is an offer of stability here with the Ace of Pentacles. Don't look back at the past. Don't hold on to your past. Let it go. Move forward with passion, drive, fervor. <laughs> Just carry on working on yourself. Just work on what you need to work on. All right, so I feel like this heartache is it's being dealt with. You're dealing it with it here with the hermit energy. You're letting go of something that's been holding you back. Everything is going the way it should be. And you are stepping into the beautiful energy of the Empress. You're closing out some sort of cycle here and moving towards your abundance. I love it when I pull back the next card and it's something really beautiful. Um, I feel like here for some of you, this is about a relationship or about the possibility of a relationship. I don't feel I'm just talking to one or the other. I feel like this is spirit saying to you, whatever you wanted, whatever you've wanted in your life, whatever you've wished for, whatever you've dreamed about is coming to you. You just need to carry on doing what you're doing. You're doing the things you need to be doing. If you're healing, if you're addressing some of the things about or acknowledging some of the things you need to acknowledge, then everything is working out just as it should. Um, I really feel there is an energy here of taking some responsibility with your own healing. Um, it's no good sort of going into the next phase and expecting to have your life exactly as you want it if you're still blaming everybody else for what has gone wrong in your life. Like this is really this Eight of Swords energy, like hanging on to the pain of the past. Um, when you heal, it's about, you know, being able to forgive. It's about to identify, you know, your, your part in a situation, your responsibilities as far as that healing goes. But if you're still in the energy of, you know, the Eight of Swords here, where you feel that you've been the one that's been, um, you've been the one that's been sort of beaten down, then you need to turn that round and look at it differently with the star here. This is all about healing. You need to see it from a different perspective because while you're in this energy, the vibration is low. So the universe really here with this sort of energy here is saying, you know, go forward with passion. Work on what you want, but do that from the inside out. Don't try to do it from the outside in. You can't make other people love you and provide for you what you are meant to do for yourself. So beautiful, beautiful reading. I'm just going to put a couple more cards. The Nine of Swords coming through with the Queen of Wands. Beautiful. Oh, two cards coming through here. Okay. So I can clearly see for some of you, when we talk about rebirth here, I feel like we are talking about going into a new time where you are leaving the old part of yourself behind. 
You can't take this old sort of energy with you forward. The Six of Pentacles to me is very much the energy of working with the universe. So being able to co-create. So you're in the energy of co-creation here. Don't get in the energy of lack. Don't get in the energy of that sort of victim mentality where you're feeling like everything on the outside of you is to blame for your woes. Sometimes things are beyond our comprehension. Um, and if that's the case, Spirit is saying here, even when you don't feel directly responsible, take responsibility for your healing and for getting back on the path. I like that. All right, we have the Seas of Mintaka coming through here. Ooh. So let's have a look at what that says. Seeing potential and bringing unconscious to light. Oh, isn't that perfect? Okay. Mintaka is thought to have been a water-based planet containing the most crystal clear waters you could ever imagine. So clear that you could see for miles and miles underwater. The Seas of Mintaka card represents this crystalline clarity of potential and possibility. It's about the ability and choice to see the potential in all people and situations. Not looking at yourself. This could be one of your natural traits or it could be a sign that what you're currently doing has great potential. Mintakans are thought to have been a galactic race who saw the light in everyone and everything. You may have received this card as confirmation that a situation or project has extreme potential and will reach fruition. If it appears in a spread, it's a very positive sign that things are working out for the highest potential of all involved. It's a very uplifting, light-filled card that brings great harmony, contentment and positive outcomes. According to Carl Jung, which is one of my who is one of my favourite people, that which we do not bring to consciousness appears in our life as fate. So if you're unconscious, it's that, it's that energy of creating things around you from what you believe rather than from what you are or continuing to do cycles. When water appears in dreams and art, it often re represents the unconscious mind or emotions. Pulling this card also may be, you may be called to bring to light any unconscious patterns of which you're unaware, to look at them and see them clearly and consciously so they do not appear in your life as fate. What unconscious patterns or behaviours are ready to be brought to the light of day? And I feel that's really strong in this reading. It's about you understanding, as I always say. So, you know, recognising that there is an issue, recognising that, you know, have you have something to heal is usually a good deal of the healing. Just recognising and understanding that. I'll leave you with that. Have a great new year, everyone. Thank you.